Oh, that is catchy. Play that note again. My gosh, Tooting Fish, you are a delightful creature. And to think I was going to roast you in my demon fire. Play another tune, I command it. Hmm. Yes. Yes! Wait, what? Oh. Uh. Hel hello, mortals! Um. I, uh, I, uh, 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 I guess you were expecting Zoe for day three of Too Spooky for Zoe Week. Well, uh, it's just me and the tooting fish at the moment. She, uh, she hasn't returned yet from that forest she went into yesterday. I'm sure she's definitely fine, though, and not a ghost or anything. <laughs> definitely not a ghost. Anyway, you can... You can go now. Go on. Goodbye. Leave me be with the tooting fish. You're still here. You're still here. That's... That's great. I... I guess we're doing a video. This, uh... This really isn't in my job description. I'm used to enslaving and tormenting human souls, and... Zoe operates on pretty much the complete opposite philosophy of... Letting you be free and happy. Ugh. Ah. You know what? I'm a demon lord. I, I know a thing or two about communicating with ghosts. I'm sure we can get her back somehow. Leave it to me. Do not think I'm doing you a favor. Do not think I like you. I'm merely going to bring her back because I cannot stand talking to all you pitiful humans. Yep, that's it. Anyway... Spirit? Spirit, are you there? Spirit, if you can hear me, please knock. Did that... Delightful! That... That worked! I, I mean, yes, I... I knew that would happen. Spirit, tell me your name. Zed. O. E. Y. Good. Good, I think we've got the right one. Now! Spirit, channel yourself through YouTube. Channel yourself through this video. Speak to your friends once more, and, uh, let me go back to playing this fish harmonica. Okay, goodbye, everybody. I will... I will rip the flesh from your bones one day. I will. I'm a, I'm a demon lord. I, I'm really scary. Good, goodbye! <laughs> Hello, good lurkings. I, I am speaking to you from the spirit realm. I'm a spooky, creepy ghost now, and I'm being summoned through this Ouija board. I wonder by who? There are my victims, the fools who thought they would try and summon me, the powerful Zoe s Boo as heck. Here it comes. Here comes the magic. Let me free! Let me haunt! And now... Look upon my terrifying visage and be spooked. Here I um that's that's not that's not me. That's no, that's I look way scarier than that. That's more like it. Possess the TV. Good job. He's my little buddy. He's my little spirit buddy. That that's canon. Ah, but there's two more foolish fools going through the school. What's this? Another summoning portal to the spirit realm? Well, that's too many. They're, they're not just summoning me. They've, they've summoned every ghost in the spirit realm. Oh my gosh, that is horrifying. I'm not cut out for this. I thought they were just going to summon me and I'd just, you know, scare them a little bit, but it wouldn't be anything serious. But that guy's got a hook for a hand. Oh no, there's more. 
It's just a spider. It's just a spider. We get it's another spider. We get it's raining spiders. We we're fired. That's Oh no! They've let Arachnor, the spirit spider, free. Oh no, and it's Snooker Man. Legends tell of a man that plays snooker. And there's my little buddy again. And the creeper go with the hook hand. And Arachnor up there. And it's the phantom cocktail drinker who will drink your cocktails without you noticing. Or the following haunters have been assigned to you. Haunters have Treat been assigned to me? Well. What? You've put me in command of the ghost army that's going to take over the mortal realm, but I've only been a ghost for like a day. This is nonsense. This, this is a game called Ghost Master, in which I will be the master of ghosts and I attempt to scare mortals. Okay, we're going to go straight into Haunting 101, so we can learn the basics of scaring humans. That is a loading screen. That is, that is something. For your field training, young ghost master. Field training. We are taking you to the Kappa Lambda sorority Ew. house in Gravenville University. Only a small number of sorority girls are in residence at the moment. But scaring them all away should be a sufficient test of your abilities. Okay, we got sorority house. Before embarking upon a haunting, you must select your team of ghosts. Okay, we can pick a team. We're going to get Cogjammer in, our little buddy from the intro, I think. We're going to get Arachnor in. Okay, it's called Clad Claws. And now we need some more advanced stuff. The horrors are the super mega bosses that we can't afford yet. But we can get a little boo ghost in. You can elect to assemble a team and yourself, we'll but get you can only benefit from one of the elementals in as well. Team. If there's nothing else we can get. Oh, we could get shivers. Yeah, that would do. There we go. We will go with that. We've got Cogjammer, Clatterclaws, Boo, and Shivers. We will go haunt the sorority girls. Here we are, outside the sorority house. Right. We need to we need to scare them. We will zoom straight in. I will, I will remember the controls properly. Hold on. There we go. So it's kind of like The Sims. You see all the little humans walking around doing their stuff. But you can't control them at all. You can't tell them what to do. You control the ghosts instead. So they're in the living room now. I think that girl's going for TV. So what we're going to use is Cogjammer. Who binds itself to electrical things like the TV. So we can bind Cogjammer now. Put him in there. There we go. Now this is where the fun begins. Cogjammer. This is your master. I want you to make a little spark come out of the TV. Can you do that? Nice. Oh, look, that one there. Joanna Fields has got a bit spooked by that. Right, now, this is the mortal list. This is all the mortals that are currently in the house. Cindy Haddock is her name. The T stands for their terror. The M stands for their madness. And the B stands for their belief. People with high belief are not going to get easily scared. Or is it low belief? I've forgotten. It's one of the two. But we basically, we need to get their terror up enough so that they just leave the house. And once every mortal is out of the house, we've won. We've taken control of the house. The ghost will rise. So this one's asleep. So we need to do something to wake her up, I think. So I put Boo in. We bind him. You can bind him to a room, like each individual room. So we bind him to the bedroom. Here we go. There we go. Hey Boo buddy, how's it going? And we use your power of rattling chains to try and make her wake up. There we go. Good job, Boo. Okay, she's woken up. She's gone out of the room. Or they've kind of caused a traffic jam here because she's trying to get in and she's trying to get out. Oh, if they're both going to stay in, then... We make a little leak appear in the walls. There we go. It's coming out of the radiator. That makes sense. Uh, that one makes less sense. And that one... The bed is leaking! Okay. So we've got three girls in there checking that out, wondering what's going on. Uh, Cogjammer, we're going to bind you into the laptop in this room. So we can scare them a bit more. Cogjammer, use a bit higher power now. Make you do some strange behaviour. 
There we go. It's putting spooky things up on the screen. Dorothy Tootie. <laughs> Tootie seems to be quite scared by that. She's she's running off. Yeah, yeah, she's out of there. Look. Tootie does not want to be in that room. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to bring in Clatterclaws. We've got the nice living room here. A nice big room for Clatterclaws to do her thing. we we'll bind you to this room because when they're all investigating this room, once they've been scared enough, they come out into this room where Clatterclaws will now... Send out a little swarm, Clatterclaws. Nice. There's going to be loads of creepy coolies walking around that room. Cogdemo, I think it's time to pump it up a bit. Go wild and crazy. Oh look, that girl doesn't know what to do. She was in that room and now she's having to tiptoe through all the bugs. Okay, good job, Clatterclaws. Send out another little swarm while she's still there. Or some creepers, actually. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! None of them have run off yet. None of them have left the house. They they still think, oh, this is, this is you know, a bit creepy. We'll just stick around. There's only giant hands reaching out of my floorboards. Normal. Right, Shivers, what can you do? I don't know what you can do. I can't bind you to anything. Huh. I don't know how to use Shivers. That's fine. We'll just stick to the normal guys for now. Boo, if we now bind you into this room, bind you into that little corridor, we've got the whole little area covered there. So, Boo, you're now going to use your power of kinesis. Make loads of things fly up. There we go. No one no one was there. No one saw that. Oh, <laughs> I'm not very good at being a ghost master. None of these... They've just gone downstairs. And she is actually kind of entertained by that. Um, She's just scratching her head. Oh, dear. I'm not being a very good ghost master. Oh, now she's run off. There we go. Cogdama did a little spark and that scared her. We're going to go down a floor. Ah, they've all gone to the bottom floor now. Ah, okay, so Shivers binds to emotional things. Cogdama binds to electrical ones, like TVs. But this will bind to an emotional thing, so this will be a bit more terrifying for them. you got, like, the physical things, like the kinesis, that will spook the people that don't believe things can just fly around the room. And you've got the emotional ones, which go for the people that are easily scared. So use your power of taste aura or fright. Just a normal little fright. Oh! Oh! We've got Tootie running off. And we've got Cindy Haddock running off. We are... Uh, have have they run off for good or are they coming back in? Ah, oh, they've come back in. We're, the goal is to scare them out of the house, okay? And we haven't managed that for anybody yet. But now with that guy there doing fright. There we go. She's starting to get scared. And she's, oh! Oh! That got her. She, was, she didn't know what that was at all. She's run off. Here we go, our first victim. That was Cindy Haddock. Out of there. Right, we need... We bring... Cogjammer, can you come back down here? We'll bench you. Bring you into that TV. That'll be much better. Here we go. Okay. There we... Oh! Whoa! What are you doing, Cogjammer? That's crazy. And yet, these girls seem to actually be facing that. That is too e. It's a very high belief bar. And Blair also is quite a bit belief. Who is this? This is a weather witch. It'd be a different matter if I got free, mind you. I'd whip up a storm to wake the dead! <laughs> okay, got it. We have to get her free. She's been bound to that vacuum cleaner. So, Cogjammer, we're going to bench you again and just bring you over here. And Oh, oh, oh! 
Oh. Okay, we scared Nancy and Tootie off. So that's good. Cogjammer, bind you to the radio in that room. And then you just start doing your... Just start working your magic in there. We get, we get Boo in as well. We bind you to the room that the Weather Witch is in. And if you can just do your thing as well. Um, yeah, just rattle the chains. That's fine. And then we need to actually get them into this room. Is she going in there? Scare her. Scare her. Good. I, I, do I have to get them to use the vacuum cleaner? Or... Hmm. Weather Witch has her own powers. Siren song. This seductive song draws all to its sound. Okay, we can get them all into this room. Awesome. So we got them all into the room and they got scared. And now she's joined us. We now have another ghost on our team. We can bind her to the outdoors. We're, gonna, we're just going to see where this girl's going. Oh, she's running off. She's running off. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ah, Karen has... Well, she has loads of beliefs still. But, okay, we've still got Cogjammer. We're going to bind you to the TV again. Do some crazy things in here. We're going to pump up the volume on Shivers. We're going to make it do a TK storm. Here we go. Everything in the room is now flying around. There we go. That's the stuff. That's more like it. There's no way she can believe that that's natural. Boo can only be bound to a room inside and they've all run outside. So we're going to use the weather witch now. To draw them all. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Have we done it? No. We've still got her. We've still got Natalie, who has loads of belief still. That's crazy. Oh, there we go. There we go. Just a little spark from Cogjammer there. It was just what she needed. She seems to be scared of spiders as well. The, the music and the volume is really going up. Okay, this be the end. Is she about to leave? We did it! We have done it! We scared all of the humans out of the sorority house. That was our first little haunt. And we got the weather witch on our side as well. There we go. Scenario completed. We got the weather witch. None of our haunters got banished. Didn't know they could. There we go, final score. A lot. Oh my gosh, I'm really feeling this, you guys. I think it was my destiny to become a ghost. To wreak havoc and chaos and fear. I am the Ghost Master. And I shall always be the Ghost Ma. Hello, weakling. I am here to bring you back to your body. But I'm having so much fun. I do not care for your fun. The fish is crying. It's keeping me up all night. He wants his mummy. Well, I mean, you can take care of him. Just sing him a lullaby or something. Why am I always the one to look after our fish? I have work in the morning at my human soul farm. I can't be expected to stay up all night listening to its wailing. Hey, I look after the fish too. The fish wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for me. I will not waste my time arguing with you. You're taking care of the fish tonight and that's final. And you cannot do it if you are a ghost. So back to your body you go. But I... Ah! 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 ah that was weird. Uh, thanks, I guess. Do not thank me. I am a demon lord. I now have complete control of your spirit. And if you anger me again, I can just as easily remove it. Now say goodbye to all of these smelly humans. Talking of smelly, you might want to change the fish's diaper. Great. Great. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. You're awesome. That was a really weird experience. Bye. <laughs>